Hello, everyone. While everybody is joining us, I'm just going to get some things set up. I, I decided to label the Wednesdays Facebook as Wing It Wednesday because sometimes I plan what I want to do and other things come up and so on. Um, and other times I don't have a clue what I'm going to do and I'm running around the store gathering things. So I decided to call it Wing It Wednesday. So, <laughs> so I have a little show and tell. I have some new products and then um, I'm going to talk a little bit about embossing powders today. So we'll wait for everybody to kind of get on. And so hopefully everybody's in a nice, cool place. I, I think last night was the worst night for air conditioning. Uh, I, I don't know. We had our air conditioning on, and it didn't seem to matter. It was just like, ah. Uh, so this is not my kind of weather. But I keep thinking about my daughter down in Alabama, and um, this is what they deal with. I think or she's going to be learning to deal with every day from June until October. So just a couple weeks um, is not a bad thing. So I think I can, I can bear it for then, till then. Okay, I think I'm going to get started. And I just wanted to actually show you um, a finished card. I did this, I think it was last week, and I just did a really kind of random watercolor, you know, um, with this new stamp from Altenew that I love. And remember, I just kind of just like kind of plotted colors down. Well, here I finished the card. And um, a lot of times when you do something, it doesn't look really good until you add... You know, here I added a border to it with a, you know, the darker color to bring out some of the coral and you mat it, you pop it. I put some of the, um, the, the Nouveau yellow, um, kind of like, um, glitter glue that they have. And I love the card. Um, I still have the other one sitting there and I walk by it and hopefully I will get inspired. The other thing I was starting to do, I was just taking some of those watercolors. Um, <laughs> um, there you go, Donna. Um, this is one of the new embossing folders that came, and I was just kind of putting watercolor um, paints down. I really didn't like this, but I think I'm going to continue with it. I think I'm going to finish and add colors randomly on here and see what I come up with. Um, so... That, that will be showed at an, a later date. So kind of step, you know, look back for that. We have um, these butterfly dies from Alexander Renke. And they're pretty much like a two-part. So you get that fine little outline and then you get the inside. Also as a die, they come in three different sizes. And Allison brought in a card that she did. She always does beautiful cards. And... Here is um, just kind of, it just reminds me like, you know, you want to say something about fluttering. It's just a, you know, beautiful card. And I remember this paper from, um, it was like a silk paper from Hero Arts that they sold years ago. Um, very cool paper. Um, this pattern paper back here looks like alcohol inks. She said it was one of the Lavinia uh, packs of paper. We sell, they come in like a four pack of um, this shiny kind of cardstock with these almost alcoholic patterns, you know, in them. And that's what she used in there. So beautiful card. So thank you, Allison, for sharing that. So these were, you can see she used the large die, the medium die, and then the small one. Very cool. There is a... Um, a new release 
that is coming that's available today from Heartfelt Creations. And these we're going to put up as um, special orders. It's called Home for the Holidays. And there are the, the stamps and dies. Um, I got to do these last night and play with these. I didn't do the church scene yet. So this will um, be something I'll work on in the next couple days. And in the set, you get the two stamps. And then in the die, they actually give you um, a lot of dies. You'll get the die to cut the entire image on both. And then what they um, have is you get an individual die of the back of the truck. So you can cut out that image and pop it. You get the little snowman die, which he's right there. And that will allow you to give um, more dimension to your your card. And then in in the other image over here, you get the truck again, and then you get the little deer. This is, I didn't get a chance to play with this one either. This is a huge um, snowflake background. So you'll see some things um, coming up with that and an alphabet set and number set. But let, I'll just um, show you quickly what I played with. And I might do a background with that big snowflake. Um, so this is the one scene if you can see this one that's this one to the side and I did pop up the deer over here and then I double pop the car in the front it was fun to color it was so hot last night that um, you know it was kind of nice coloring something like cold and you know kind of <laughs> cooled me off and then here is this other image. I have to change these up. I'm not so happy with that white background. It's a little bit too white for me, but I'll um, actually probably take those off and play with them for a little bit. And you can see this is this particular stamp on the top. And they actually, um, I'm not sure why, but there's a little slit in here. So you can actually pop in another tree if you want. Um, I didn't, I had the little snowman, but I didn't um, pop him. So I just did that one. So those are new. So if anybody is interested, you can just send me an email or a text. They're called Home for the Holidays. The first one is the with the two truck scenes. There is the numbers and alphabet, the large holiday snowflake frame, and then the holiday village. This one I'm looking forward to doing too. So those are heartfelt creations. This was um, a company that I've um, always intrigued me. Their their papers, um, their foils. Um, I would always get a sample in the mail from them, and um, we recently had a virtual show, and we took a class from them and so I actually had the paper in hand and we got to play with it and I, I really enjoyed them. This was um, an, an ornament that we didn't get a chance to make but I have the directions and we finally got the die in but um, for those of you that love doing you know crafts and giving gifts and such um, this is a beautiful ornament. I'm going to put a little gem in the center um, and so you, you can see that you just do two of these kind of like starburst designs and glue them together. You can just do actually one and use it as a, a topper on top of a package. And they're done with these metallic foil papers that are like really cool. So they sent me another package of assorted papers. And the colors are, they're just so beautiful. You can see they have these smooth foils, um, but I really like this one with this pattern in it. 
they're double sided and they have this whole range of colors that are available. And of course I got a good selection of all of them. So they come in these little packs and they also come in these six by 11 inch packs. And you can see all these papers. Um, the cool thing about these, when they went and made this ornament, which is done with this particular die, so you have your large, your medium, and your small, they give you the instruction on here and basically it's just the die and their foil paper and a pencil. You gotta make sure you have a nice sharp pencil because you want that point and you just roll it. There is really the only glue that you need is the glue that when you start putting the um, different layers on top of each other. But um, it, it just, I mean, it's definitely intriguing. So we just got these in yesterday. So I am actually gonna attempt to make one of these um, ornaments and Kim, made sent me a message she said i think we can make a christmas tree if you keep putting those little ones on top and somehow um, you can make maybe a, a 3d christmas tree but the cool thing with um these papers you can emboss them put embossing powder on them um, but they actually they roll and they keep their shape and so that's how this can be made without any type of glue. Um, and then, you know, you can smooth them back out. But the fact that you can kind of create shape and form these is really neat. And I am working on the poinsettia class from Heartfelt Creations, um, which hopefully will be available. We have a pre-order online and I did a kind of a sneak peek. I am using this foil paper with their molds and the poinsettias are coming out beautiful. I mean, I couldn't shape them by hand the way with the molds. Um, so kind of see this, uh, I will share with you the class um, samples when they're done so you can see how um, you possibly can use these foil papers. Here are some just simple flat cards done with these foil papers, but you can see this was packed up um, at home, but you can definitely give these dimension and shape them. And poinsettias are probably like just the perfect flower for doing for toppers on holiday packages. So you can see how those kind of come to life. And here's one um, with the flat, they're, they're flat foil papers also. You can retain that shape with them. These are the small four by six packs. And so they have some variety packs. This is called the Jolly Variety. And in it, you will get um, some of the smooth paper and the smooth paper on one side you can see it's green on the other side is gold um, you get some of this kind of star little texture paper in it they have the earth tone collection they have the fall with that beautiful kind of red and brown and gold i love this one this is the frosted variety so you get the teals and the silver and the turquoise they have one that's just metallics they have a Halloween pack collection. Pastels, um, here's called Peacock, so you get those bright, vibrant colors. Love for Valentine's Day. And these packs are $5.50, and you get 12 of the 4x6 assorted. So I'm assuming that if there's, um, you get two of each inside there. They have a pack which they call Mis Misfits, and it is a mystery collection. You get twice as many. They're sli slightly imperfect, but you can still use them. So here you're gonna get 24 pack of who knows what colors for the same price. 
So we have these. You can see that they're all the same. It's kind of like you get what you get. And they have those in the four by six. And then they have um, the Misfits also in in the um, six by 12. And you can see that there's like a little flaw in there, but you still get this whole section. Um, and each one is slightly different in whatever regularity there is. And these are just the same as the smaller, the frosted, the jolly. Um, I did get like all gold, all silver. I got this all turquoise and all red um, for the poinsettias because in the poinsettia one, we're doing the red and the green. I haven't tried one in gold. We might do one in gold too um, for that heartfelt creation. So those are available. They should be online. Um, I just called Jess about a half hour ago, so hopefully um, she got to it. If not, they'll be up there shortly. And then we got a couple um, products in from um, Picket Fence and Pretty Pink Posh. Let me move these out of the way. And this is Picket Fence. This is just a cute little stamp. It's called a paper hug for you, and which is like perfect on the back side of your envelopes. And and then this little get well, the little hand, I miss you, and then life sucks without you. <laughs> and this one I always thought was hysterical. I love this first one, Dear Karma. I have a list of people you missed. And then there's all these other kind of fun, sarcastic um, little karma messages. My dream job is driving the karma bus. <laughs> um, let's see, sarcasm in the language of my people. So just um, if you're in that mood, just kind of a funny stamp set. Another um, fun stamp, just these ladies in, in jeans. And it's a fun, it's a kind of a, you know, a girlfriend um, stamp. And it's fun to do the jeans all different color, the skin tones all different colors. You got different color sneakers, just kind of a fun stamp. This was supposed to be one of our stamp camp cards, but um, came in a little bit late. So we didn't have the opportunity to use this. But um, one of these days, I will make a sample. And then we have a few Halloween items. This is a Halloween stencil, and you can see that they're the shapes of these kids and the little tombstones. So when you um, take that out, you'll be able to see it better, but I don't want to pop it out of there. And another Halloween stencil from Picket Fence, these little ghosts, or the, um, the pumpkins. And you got the big pumpkin, you got another pumpkin stencil. And I love cute Halloween, um, the scary stuff I'm not into, but a lot of you guys are and he's pretty scary if you ask me but he would be fun to to color and they have some great um, sayings on the side so speaking of Halloween we got our release in from pretty pink posh and it is Halloween we got this cute little um, monster set and they have a couple Halloween sayings, but because they're monsters, you can use these anytime for cards. And Kim is going to be doing a card class using, I believe she's going to be using these. Um, I think they're mostly Halloween, and I think one of them will have um, maybe a Christmas, or I mean a birthday sentiment with it. And you have the little coordinating dies for the monster hugs. We have um, the sentiment trick or treat and happy Halloween die cut. The little Halloween circles. So you have the, the various little designs that can go inside the circles. And this actually would be um, perfect, like in the slimline, a lot of them have the three circles down the center of the slimline card, um, 
or you know just in a single A2 card and you can make these shakers you can also just stamp the different images in there so lots of different choices that you can do with that what I love is that um, Paulina does a wreath, a holiday wreath. You know, we did the Valentine's wreath. She did the summer, the, you know, um, each season she does a different wreath. And this is the Halloween one with all the little, you know, images around there. And there's a coronating die and the die for all these little bits and pieces, which you can pop up on your wreath or use those individually. Let's see what else. This is a new die. Um, she had one last time in the summer. This is the new one for Halloween, and you can use it with all those little circle images. And I think there's one more. And this is the little Boo pumpkin, and they have the little face in the back. And you can make this into a shaker card. You can also just use this for um, a, just a regular um, card front. So definitely we'll probably have some samples of this one uh, because once again, uh, she always does kind of a simple um, shaker with all of her releases and we have several samples of other ones um, available. So that's the Pretty Pink Posh release. So anybody have any questions? The next thing before, while I'm kind of getting all this stuff set up, I'm going to talk a little bit on, or show you some samples with WOW embossing powder. Um, just talk a little bit about their powders and kind of get my stuff all set up. Um, WOW embossing powders have huge, huge variety of powders and products available. And um, I started using their embossing pad probably about six months ago, and I think it's the best embossing pa um, pad. I know a lot of us use the, the Versamark pad, which also um, works really well. This one stays wet for such a long time, and um, so I'm loving it. There are refills available. So this is the refill for the embossing pad. And what I like about it is they have the little roller ball on the top. So instead of pouring the um, fluid on there like other companies and trying to get it all evenly saturated, you just run this over and that little ball will kind of evenly disperse the, the fluid um, into your embossing pad. But I've had my pad for about six months now and I have yet to need to emboss it. Um, another product that they have, and this is um, suggested and inspired by Seth Apner, it is embossing fluid and it has like a little um, kind of nail polish brush on the end. And this allows you to actually put embossing or embossing ink in certain areas and fill in or kind of create some random designs um, with the embossing um, fluid and your powders. So something kind of cool and it's kind of neat to know that it's available. So what I wanted to do is we have these two really kind of cool um, stamp or dies from Memory Box and this has kind of been on my to-do list for a long, long time, and I never have gotten around to it. So my thought, and who knows if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna use white pearl embossing powder on the back side because you know, a lot of times those shells have that white um, kind of pearly look in the inside. And then I was gonna do some random sparkle embossing powders on the top. And let's see what we get. For embossing powders, I always use a coffee filter um, to pour my excess powders off. And a lot of people know that. It's nice because there's not a whole lot of static then. I can pour it back into my bottle. 
So let me grab something. Mark made this for me a long time ago. And one of these days I bought all this stuff so I can make more, but um, that's probably been on his to-do list for probably about four years. Um, so um, we don't have any of these in stock, but you can actually have your husband make one. And let's see who gets it done first, Mark or your husband. Just a little clothespin. And this is a dowel rod and it's cut at an angle. And this helps when you're heating so that you don't burn your fingers. So what I'm gonna do is just take my pad and rub it. On this whole back of this paper. And I want to use the white pearl. So I'm going to move my powder far away. And excuse me for a minute, I have to turn the heat gun on and I'm going to emboss this. I don't know if you can see that kind of pearl look to it. This is dry already. So you can kind of see that that whole kind of pearly sheen. The other thing I want to show you, um, and I'll, I'll do on half, um, there is a little bit of pitting that you might see, and that's done, um, it is a fine powder, but sometimes that will happen, not, it won't be completely smooth, and it's happening because we have a big area and you notice it more. I kind of like that because it kind of gives a texture. but what you can also do is you can go and ink up again and add another coat. And the more coats that you put on, um, the smoother it'll become. So if I put that up closer, um, hopefully you can see that it definitely filled in, you know, um, more so, and you don't have those little pitting kind of designs. But sometimes that's, you know, that for me, that's like adding another texture look to it, and I, I, I really like that. And I'm, I'm going to leave it um, just like that. So if so people can see two coats versus one coat. So now we have, I just randomly, let's see, um, we have candy floss, we have ice cream, and carnival. I don't know if I'm gonna like the carnival in there. I kinda like 
the pastels, but let's see what we're gonna get. Let me put this back. And we'll start with the candy. I'm just gonna kind of do random spots of embossing powder. We just got a, um, a whole order in of WOW powders and um, they're, we, Mark's like, oh my gosh, like why do we have so many different colors? because there were too many choices and I couldn't choose which ones not to have. So I pretty much ordered them all. They come from England and they actually make a lot of powders for other companies. And the materials that they use in their powders, they call it like a grade A embossing powder. Um, and when they make their powders for a lot of other companies, um, it's still good, um, but they use like a grade B. So these are like top of the line embossing powders. You know what, I'm gonna see if the, the other one's wet. I'm gonna throw some of these other colors on. This is actually a pretty color. And I'm gonna just try just a little bit of this. I really like the pinks and the creams. I'm not so like in love with that darker green. So let me see if I go and kind of make it a little bit more subtle if I put some pink on it. Right, kind of put this in here. This was, um, a trio set and I just grabbed it so I think that looks really pretty. And then I grabbed um, this background, and this is from Reverse Confetti. I think it's called a scallop stitch background. And I did it in that, and I did it in white. So I will finish this up and actually show you the finished card um, on Saturday. I do have another shell. Let's see if I have the other part. Let me just cover these up so I don't spill these.
Oh, here's the other. So what I'm gonna do on this one, I'm gonna do the reverse. I'm gonna do the pearl on top and I'm gonna do on the, the glitter on the back. We'll kind of start with the pink. I'm not going to use that dark color. If there was, any, and they do have like a soft blue or a turquoise, a softer color, I think that would have been nicer. But I'm just going to stick with these kind of colors. So you can create um, and make your own, you know, background papers just with this their powders. I used um, my nail, kind of took off some of the powder. Let me see if I can fill that, that hole back up. I can. Let me get my little tool out. things I want to mention um, when we do embossing I have a super super hot heat gun um, so it doesn't take long when you're doing um, embossing um, you have to be careful because a lot of times where you think the nozzle is directing the heat is not necessarily what part is melting so you really want to have good light and once that heat um, starts or you find the spot where the embossing powder is melting you slowly move your gun and as soon as it changes um, it may have been difficult to see with um, the sparkle as soon as it changes just keep that gun moving you don't want to go like this um, because you're heating and cooling heating and cooling that's not what you want to do you just want to gradually just work it down and um, get the whole image done Literally, by the time you see that change, it's melted. People tend to, um, sometimes when they're new and embossing, overheat it. And then it, um, okay, and then let's just do the, the top with the pearl. I love using that pearl um, for like backgrounds and do a tone on tone. With embossing powders, just use your clear pad, and um, you know snowflakes are really cool. Um, you can also, you know, do any pattern and create a resist with, you know, clear or pearl. And you know, here and there, I plan on kind of doing a lot with embossing powders and giving you some ideas and tips and so on. So. It's like one of those things, I think, when we first learn how to stamp, we emboss everything, and then we forget about it. Until Christmas comes. Then we bring out our heat gun. Move that off to the side. I hope you could see that change.
there's a couple spots that I think I missed, but I'm going to go back and do a second coat um, after. But there's the finish result with that. And of course, the darker colors, if you put darker colors on the back, it'll there'll be more of a variation. I might go back and do another one, find a color that combines with this, because that would be like so cool to have that that background. So those are the, the wow embossing powders that I wanted to share with you. Um, anybody have any questions about embossing? Let me put these back in. The other companies, um, the powders that I actually like, um, that I find I just go to all the time. I do like Hero Art, but I do love wow embossing powder. So Hero has a much larger jar um, especially when you're doing clear and sparkle and so on because you use those all the time um, but sometimes like with these fun colors you don't need a ton of it so an embossing powder is kind of like glitter it you know it I think it you take it out you use it put the rest back in your in your bottle and it it multiplies again so <laughs> so little bottles are nice to have so you can get a nice little variety of powders and such Uh, the fall, the fall and winter, what? Um, I got your, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Janine. You might have mentioned something earlier and I wasn't paying attention. The fall and winter, what? We'll wait for uh, Janine to get back to me because you can also text me and let me know. Um, on of the wild little kits i think i have the kind of the startup basic kits but not um a fall kit per se oh we got the the um the, there's a fall kit that we're getting from stampendous if that's what i showed the other day those are on order and we are getting more of those with those golds and browns and oranges um hopefully they'll be here next week so if that's what you were talking about we were sold out, but we have more. We have big bottles of those. So, um, on Saturday, um, hopefully we'll get some products in and we'll show um, some new things. If not, I have a ton of different ideas for demos and showing you things and probably pulling out some old, older products that you may not be familiar with in the store. So we'll do that. And, I, oh, at 12.15 on Saturday, we will have the, the new release from Tim's Halloween available to purchase in the store. Um, and But we have to wait till 12.15. So I can't show you any of those, um, but uh, Tim is, I think, bright and early at 12.15. He's going um, live on Facebook or 12 o'clock or something like that. So we got to give them 15 minutes and then um, we have them here in the store and they're ready for ready for sale. So until then, I think that's it. I don't see any other questions. Everyone have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. And now I got to come up with a little snappy saying for Saturdays. So take care. Enjoy.